Yo 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 yo! Lads and lasses, and welcome to another stream of the Watch Along, the Carabao Cup semi-final first leg between Southampton versus Newcastle. Who do you guys think who is going to win? I'll put a poll in. Let's put a poll in and see what you say. So this is a uh, the first leg, so it doesn't matter if it's a draw, because the second leg will be played in the next few days. Oh my god, literally everything is falling over. Everything I touch. But yeah, guys, I hope you are all well. Oh, crying out loud. <laughs> right, I'm back. <laughs> oh, dear me. Is everything I touch is falling over, doing stuff? And it's no good. Yes, it said I was going at 8 o'clock, but the only thing is I realised that I can do it earlier, so I came on now. So, the team news then, guys. I'll let you know the team news. Just give me one minute while I get it up. Um, uh, I still can't find the team news. Right, here we go, here we go. <laughs> it still hasn't given me the team news. I think I'm the team news. Quite that old. Please, do to give me the team blimmin' news. Can't find it. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Well, all I can tell you is that it's, I know that it's unchanged at Newcastle. So whoever played, like, you know, they had Pope, they had Trippier, they had Shard, didn't they? Or share, share. Do you believe in share after share? Oh no, I don't. I don't. I don't believe. I don't believe in share. I don't know. And then I had Botman and uh, the other guy. I don't know his name. Then they had Willock. As well, didn't they in goal? So here we go. We've got Pope for the Newcastle team. We've got Pope, Trippier, Botman, Cher, Byrne, Longstaff, Willock, Joe Linton, Almoron, Bruno, 
Gulamerez and also Wilson. The subs are Dalo, are Dalo Lascelles, St. Maximum, Richie, Lewis, Isaac, or Isaac, Manquilio, Murphy, and Anderson for Newcastle. For Southampton, though, Orsich and Alcaraz are making their full debuts tonight. So the Southampton team is Bazunu, Walker Peters, Lienko, Saleta Car, Salisu, Dalo, Genpo, uh, De Genpo, uh, Wolfras, Osik, Mara, and Al Karaz. We Carbelero, Mountain, Mayton Niles, Arms, Adam Armstrong, Adams, Harud, Idozi, Elionosi, Bednowick, and Lavia is on the bench. Whew. Mikey, a load of foreign names there. <laughs> Unbelievable. But yeah, guys, two of you legends in here. Don't forget, smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and also click that bell icon. Oh, let's hope for a really good game today. Hopefully we can do it. Would be nice, wouldn't it, for a good win for either team and then see who Man United are going to win, providing we can be overcome. Um, not in the forest, I'm sure we will. Let's uh, go. Do you think that we can beat uh? Do you think that we could beat uh, Nottingham Forest? Yo, Didarag, Tunami, Tunami. Yo, bro, how you doing? I'm good. Am I okay? I'm all right, you know. I'm doing the watch along for the Southampton versus Newcastle. Hope you enjoy. Who is G Wolf United going for tonight? Um. Both teams are really are really good teams um tonight, so it could be a tough, could be a toughie. Um, I think for the first leg you could see a, uh, I think you could see a stalemate, but either one of them can win. So it looks, it looks good at the moment. Whichever one comes on top, I don't care as long as Man United get through. So it says here, new car, uh, Nick Pope hasn't conceded in the last 13 and a half hours of football since, Ro since Roman Perut scored for Newcastle's 4-1 win at Southampton in November. Wow. So basically, this could be the, um, the end of a long run for Nick Pope if Southampton managed to score. Yo, legacy of Outlaw. He said, I'm not having a good day. But, oh, dude, come on. Every day you wake up and you feel alive, it's always a good day. Be positive, my friend. Positive things happen to positive thinkers. Try and be positive, dude. I know I've been in your position. I I am in your position as well, so I do know about that it's always hard. Hey, always a good day with G Wolf streams. Hey, bro. Yeah, good. Cheers, bro. Not feeling the best. Um, 
So tomorrow, the semi-final first leg between Nottingham Forest and Manchester United. Tomorrow is at 7, 8, 7 p.m. I hate this game. FIFA scripting. Well, yeah, they do that quite a lot. Hey, David Hill, how are you doing, dude? I hope you are well. You're not feeling the best, Jonathan? Why is that, bro? Why are you not feeling the best? Come and talk to Uncle G. I'm sure I can try and help you in any way possible. So at the moment, St. Mary's music is going off. The lights are flashing. They are having a strobe light bonanza over there. I have a really bad cough. Ooh. Sounds like that you got a cold or really bad flu. So I would say either take some Lemsip or if you haven't got any Lemsip, take paracetamol and ibuprofen with um, a bit of ginger. That will probably might help your bad cough. And if it's a phlegmy cough, then um, take some cough syrup as well. Yo, always be. No, 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 no. He said, "Woo, woo, 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 woo." How are you doing, bro? So Southampton are uh, doing a strobe light. So. Wow, they got the fire. Southampton's on fire. Fuck this cough. Oh, if you fuck cough, it might give you a really, really, really bad cough and it might give you stomachache as well. But if you want to fuck the cough, go for it, um, Jonathan. <laughs> So Newcastle has won the last two games at St. Mary's. Hopefully Newcastle will bottle it so we have easy opponents after smashing Forest. Yeah, but we can beat Newcastle though. That's the only thing. We can beat Newcastle. OHB. Either Southampton's got to come out and they've got a really better Newcastle. So then that it can be an easy picture at um, St. James. Or the only other thing that they can do is hope for a draw and then um, and then hopefully just grab a smash and grab at St. James. We have to see what happens. You never know. Newcastle, they over the last two games against that at St. Mary's, they've won. So and also Nick Pope hasn't conceded since the last time um these two sides met. So difficult it's gonna be a difficult game for Southampton, I think. Because the last time uh Newcastle came out, they were four one winners, so Exactly. So we can we can beat them. It's going to be tough, but let's see 
the players are just coming out onto the pitch at this moment in time. They're just shaking hands now. By the way, sync up with me. I'm probably a couple of minutes behind you because I'm watching it on my um on my now TV box. So you got Bazunu in goal for Southampton with Lenko, as I said, Kaleta, Car, Salisu, and Walker Peters in the in the back. So for the fourth match in a row, Newcastle is unchanged. This is going to be a really good game for them. Anadin is pretty good. So yeah, take Anadin, dude. But only take two, but every four hours. Don't take them every two or three hours because they're a bit overdose and uh, you could be very, very ill and you're afraid of hospital. Which we don't want to do that, John. But make sure that the cough medicine hasn't got um hasn't got paracetamol in as well, just to let you know. Six of you legends in here. Thank you very much for joining. Hope you guys are looking forward to this game. Hopefully, it's going to be a really good game. And um, the best mess medicine is water and a good night's sleep. Yeah, but he wants to watch the Newcastle versus he wants to watch the Southampton versus Newcastle game, dude. So, to tell you the truth, taking corset medicine and anodin while laying down and listening to the walk and really go to sleep. I can bore anyone to death. Tonight, tonight though, we are. I am going back to the wall, and we are going to kill some people. No one messes with the big bad wall. So right, they're just about to kick off. Referee is putting his mouth. It's uh, Newcastle who's going to kick off. Who is shooting from left to right on my screen? And <laughs> he decides to pause. What the fuck? Oh dear me. Here we go. The referee's looking at his watch and blows for the first half. Here we go. What? Look me now. Uh, 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 man, the times that I uh, clicked on that, it's only just doing it. So I'm about 40 seconds ahead of the game. Can't change that clock. But already, uh, Southampton's got a free kick um, offside. Hey, kick it out! Hello, how are you doing, bruv? All right, I'm glad. So, after a minute and 20 seconds, nothing has happened. Literally, there's a throw into Newcastle. So what do you guys think? Who do you think is going to win? Do you think it's going to be Newcastle or do you think it's Southampton? At the moment, there's been eight votes and it's 100% Newcastle. 
to Newcastle. They had a chance. Willock shot from the outside box and it goes high. I uh, into row Z. So Almoron literally uh, comes in, cuts inside, passes it to Willock. Willock shoots. And he had time to uh, control it and he doesn't do anything. He just literally block the sleep. I'm good, bro. I'm really good. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, just doing this uh, watch along for you, brother. Because you asked me earlier whether I would do one. You asked me if I would do the uh, Not in the Forest, but yeah, no, I won't be doing the Not in the Forest uh, watch along because that is all Mr. Flying Pigs. Unless he's not doing one, then I will. Do, and then I'll be quite happy to step in line. So Trippier, Bruno Gimaraes, oh. Newcastle had the ball across goals. All someone had to do was get on top of it and uh, no one came in. Finally, I won a game. Nice. Look at you. Get in there. Yo, Gab Dog. Evening, brother. How you doing? So Southampton, Gimoyes puts it out to Trippier and Trippier literally puts it across goal. Oh, Sean Longstaff, he puts it across goal and all it was was an easy tap in and no one was there and it got. So now Southampton was trying to trying to attack with Mara, but he got uh, trapped back by um, Trippio and made a final to two red cards. My opponent got He rage quit. So Trippier with the throw. Shah cleared it but got caught by Mara and it's now a free kick to Newcastle but Shah's on the ground holding his leg. Oh. Oh, proper! He hit the he hit the, his the foot the top of the foot hit his studs and uh, looked like they jarred his leg. Now he's down on the ground. He's going to get some uh, treatment by the looks of it. And see what happens. So Lascelles might be coming on for share at the moment. All he did was follow through on, the, like you know, when share, when share, when he cleared it. All he did, what all he did was he just follow through. So literally, Shea clears it. It hits uh, Mara, but as uh, Mara came through, he booted the um, top of uh, the he booted the studs of um, Mara. He didn't go through with studs. He just followed through. He didn't mean to. He didn't mean to do anything. He was just trying to block the ball. So see what happens with that. Chair might be um taken off early on here from Newcastle. So throwing so it's now uh come back into play. Walter Peters he passed it but miscontrols it and it goes out for Newcastle throwing in the uh Southampton half. Chair is still um 
feeling the so Bruno to burn burn now all the way back to Pope White to share share now he's moving a bit better now by the look of it he passed it now Bruno Guerrero's he passes it but miscontrols it now Southampton they're on the break Oh. Auschwitz and apparently it was an offside. I'm on, he miscontrols it and um, he says Southampton throwing. Oh, that old chestnut, he didn't mean to do it. What? What do you mean? Oh, that old chestnut, he didn't mean to do it. He didn't. Come on. Elmore now picks up the ball. Tries and pass. Does and backs hill. Doesn't. He tries and pass it to Bruno, but he miscontrols it right now. Gineppo. I don't know any of these Southampton. Salusu. Right. Walter, Walker Peters now. He's got the ball. Wal Prowse crosses it in. Mara tries and gets it. And now Mara. Um, oh. Long star. Cuts out by Walter Peters. They're on the halfway line here. Well, he didn't mean to do it though, uh, Cake. He, um. At the moment, there's not really much. There's a lot of. All the way back to Benishu. Bruno Gonomos brings it down, passes it, burn now. Demise right now. Share. Oh, share. Newcastle lost it now. Southampton are on the break. Then number 11 has got it, but Longstaff picks it up and now Pope clears it. So it's now in Newcastle. Uh, I know I'm just teasing you. <laughs> well, guess what? I was teasing you too. So burn now on the far left. He brings it forward past the halfway line. He's bringing it. Looking for a pass, but he's gone all the way back to Botman, who passes it to Pope, who passes it to Cher. Do you believe that he's going to get it through? Oh, yes, he does. Oh, no, he doesn't. Wilson uh, tries, Cher feeds it through, but Wilson tries and gets on the end of it. He doesn't, and he goes all the way through to the keeper, and then Wilson. Tries and holds back the goalkeeper from throwing it. Could be interesting if he keeps on doing that. So share now. Share to Botman, Botman to Burn, Burn. The Willock to Gimrise now. Willock crosses it in, crosses it to Wilson, Southampton clear it just, Gimorais, Almond tries and finds 
Salasu puts in a challenge. Newcastle players down in the penalty box, but referee says no. Hen and carries on. So Trippier now. Trippier is looking at the player. He's looking at long staff. He sees him down and then puts it out for a throw. Longstaff is asking, come on, ref, where's the penalty? Oh, just gets enough on the ball, but treads on his foot at the same time. But referee says nothing is wrong with that. But Wilson, he, he could have taken that first time. He didn't. He tried to take a touch. Screw rivals and champs. Much better, mate. I was mad earlier because I was losing, but I finally won. Notch. That's good. Like literally, it does. It does um, come out in circles, dude. So, uh, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Just got to take the luck of the draw. But when you win, you got to protect that win. You got to go ultra defensive, and then hopefully you play a little bit better. So Trippier then tries and finds Burn. He does. He crosses it in. Or was that Botman? This is Burn to Willock. Willock tries and finds Almore and he doesn't know. Southampton get it away. And now Southampton have got a free kick. They're kicking and banging on the desk. What, you're kicking and banging on the desk, are you? Why are you doing that? All the way back to the goalkeeper now. Pope now. Beats it up past the halfway line. Salasu clears it. All the way back to Shard to Botman. Botman to Bruno Gamerez who loses it out. Now Southampton are on the on the attack. Prowse. Oh. Cher got a last minute. Challenge. No, no, um, I had the wolf rage. I bought, I bought up you banging and kicking. <laughs> yeah, I, I do that quite a lot when I rage. I do, I know I do. I should be calming down a little bit more. So Bruno Gomez to burn, burn now. Joe Linton to Bruno. Bruno to Almore, and now Trippier. He crosses it in. It comes a fine across goal, and because of the pace, no one but now Willock couldn't control it, and it goes straight out for Rowan on the far right. Oh, yeah, but I'm changing that. <laughs> FIFA is AIDS at the moment, I'll tell you that. Like, literally, when you when you know that you can win against this, when, it, when you can win against an opponent and nothing seems to go right. So touches in the opposing box is uh, Liber uh, Newcastle has got 11 and Southampton's only had one. Newcastle winning back. Now they're on the attack. Wilson now. Wilson. To Almoron. Almoron. In the Southampton box, here we go. 
Almoron back to Trippier. Trippier now to Willock. Willock to Longstar. Trippier now. Bruno Guerrez has got it. Who miscontrols it? And now Southampton Alcaraz is on the is on the attack. Here we go. And Br and Pope comes out and he clears it out. Southampton and the Newcastle is defending pretty well. Right, Joe Linton now. Joe Linton. He had about three um, South Southampton, but uh, literally they lose it. Southampton lose it out, and Wilson brings it up. The burn, burn now has got it. It goes out for a corner kick. So Newcastle got their first corner. Hey, goal was winning four 0 and somehow the man tied it four four. Well, it happens. Maybe you should have gone. Uh, Maybe you should, like, you know, maybe you should have gone um, more defensive when they went three, when they went, when you was 4-2 up or 4-3 and then just saw out the game. So Southampton managed to get that corner away. Newcastle were on the halfway line, but went back all the way to the goalkeeper, Pope now. Passes it to Trippier, Trippier. To Botman. Now Burn. Back to Botman. So Southampton lose out, but then wins it back. Now they're on the attack, and they Ward Prowse miscontrols it with his passing, and it goes out for Newcastle to throw. And kept it balanced for some reason. It's all good, dude. Don't worry. Is it? You learn. You learn. Sometimes I I forget to do that when I'm like you know when I'm like really high up, and then I see them coming back. Sometimes it's difficult to change it. Sometimes I like to go ultra attacking so you can score more goals than them. So Newcastle are on the attack now. Here we go. Sean Longstar in the Southampton area. Almon. The Bruno, he cuts in. Now Almon tries and gets it back from Bruno and the goalkeeper comes out and smothers it. But he did get he did get fouled at the same time because he did get nicked. I have good news. Thought I got AA Icon Hernandez. You thought you got. You thought you got an AA Hernandez. Who did you get then? Hoppo flashback is a beast in the game. 500k is a decent amount of SBC. Ah, you mean you got the icon Hernandez. Is that the Manchester United striker Hernandez? May I ask? Or is it another Hernandez? DM Gaming, there is no... Oh, the Luis Hernandez. Ah, oh, right, okay. But anyway, Liam Gaming, there is no way I'm having that Pogba flashback card in my team whatsoever. I don't want him, don't need him, and he can literally go suck on an egg. Do you all of you do the new Icon SBC, you'll get Gerard again. OHB? I've got two words for you. Suck it. Not going to happen, bro. The only thing is I need to get a good 85. I need to get an 85 done as well. 
I need to get. I, I'm gonna. I, I'm, I was actually thinking about putting Stevie G back in the uh, SBC for that AE8 and see what I get. But X United, I don't care if he's X United. Literally, the guy is an absolute fruit take. Don't like him. Will never like him, and he's never welcome in my team. <laughs> Legacy says, Gerard, hello, I'm back. <laughs> well, guess what? I'll be singing na 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 na. Hey, 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 Gerard, goodbye. So, Archich and Newcastle clear it away. Pogba is good, but he's lazy. Pogba is an absolute pile of poo. And basically, he's injured half the time. So, injury, injury player he is, should be in there. So, touch is furious in this match. Damn. Orsic has had the least amount of touches in this game. And he got two free transfers to Jerv. Yeah, there you go. See, so literally we, uh, we we screwed up. We bought him for 85. But he went out on a free transfer. Then we bought him for 85. And then we put him out for a free transfer again to back to Juventus. So at the end of the day, Juventus got loads of money out of us. So say the truth the guy is an absolute piece of crap and deserves to go so burn nearly loses it loses out passes into botman botman now so trippio has got it on the halfway line brings it forward bit by bit tries and finds joel linton he does he passes it to willock willock now Going past his man, crosses it in, but a decent header, clearing header there for um, Southampton. Bruno Guerrero's now. Went up, Jajempo has got it. Now he's putting it out. He was trying to shuffle it out for a goal kick, but Willett came in at last minute and tried and put some pressure on, but he managed to get the job done. Oh, that's why I've got Di Maria Pogba of X United. Uh, Liam Gaming, why have you got X United um, players in your team? You don't need them, bro. Don't need them. Get rid of them. Pogba, I don't know. He's mixed feelings for me. I can definitely say people who transfer and transfer are just confusing. But uh, choose a club you love and just stay loyal. Exactly, uh, Legacy. You got them because they disrespect the club, lol. So, bit of confusing there between who gets the ball. It was a drop ball, but Newcastle won it. So Botman clears it up to Willock. Willock now goes and passes to try and find Joe Linton. He doesn't. To Jumpo, he tries a back heel, but he goes to a Newcastle player. Newcastle now on the halfway line. He tries and finds Joe Linton. He doesn't. Trippier brings it down. Now he tries and finds Almoran, but the Salisu. Brings it down, and now Southampton have got control of the ball. So Southampton's got a throw.
Southampton's trying to control it, but Newcastle is not letting them have any time on that ball whatsoever. So at the moment, the match that is two shots to Newcastle, to Southampton's one on target, none. Touches is 12 to Newcastle, to Southampton's one. Little tea is very red. Oh, hell yeah, it is, isn't it, Jonathan? So Bolton brings down a Southampton player, but nothing comes. Southampton bring it down. Oh. Almoron. Wow, la. So Almoron was through on goal. He gets slight tackled on by Hallett. So Coletta Carr, the Croatian, he, he does a last minute. Newcastle United are currently cheating. That was a free kick, to tell you the truth. You see that when he comes sliding in, he um, literally, lucky enough, it wasn't studs up because if it was any higher, I think he would have been sent off. But he came in quite a hard challenge on Almoron, so, and also he wasn't the last man. I think also if he was the last man, then he would definitely be sent off. Yeah, legacy. Uh, Messi isn't uh, hasn't hasn't got no uh, loyalty to um, Barcelona because if he did, he would have stayed there. Just like what Jonathan Gallagher said, he would have. Surely he could have um, taken a pay cut, but he didn't want to. He still wanted his wages. Didn't have to leave. Could have taken a pay cut. Did he? Did he actually say that he would play for free? I don't know if he did. So Joe Linton now to Willock. Joe Linton to Bruno Guerreras. Tries and finds Almoron, but doesn't. Now, Southampton get it away. Bruno Guerreras literally puts his elbow out. It hits the Southampton player in the face. And Southampton, Bruno Guerreras flares an arm out and it hits Mara fully in the face and uh, Southampton a goal free kick but is Bruno going to get um, is that Bruno Guerrero is going to get a yellow card I don't think he is shit <laughs> uh. It took 10 hours for him to get his chubby out of the way. Phew! 
TV. <sighs> and then someone will play for free, especially if you're a top player. Exactly, Jonathan. Exactly. I don't think he would have. So Joe Linton has got it. Tries and finds Almoron, but Southampton defends it well. Now Southampton wants to attack quickly. Oh, Walter Peters tries and brings, but it's a throw into Newcastle. There was many reports that he did agree to it. But did he though? Did he actually agree to it, or was that just paper talk? So Trippier now. Trippier tries and finds Wilson. He doesn't know. Finds a Southampton player. Now Southampton, right? Orsic. Diallo now. Diallo to Water Peters. To Jajempo. Jajempo goes past his man, goes past Burn. Now he's putting, trying to put on the gas, but Willick is there defending well, covering. And he goes out. For a Southampton throw, I would take Nick Pope definitely. I think he's a pretty good. Um, I think he's a pretty good goalkeeper. Would I take Nick? No. <laughs> Yo, Luis Fernandez. I oh, do thank you for being our. A hundred and fifty uh, subscriber, you legend, bro. Thank you very much. Hope you are well. But Barca was in debt, one point three five billion pounds. So they still and they still are. Yeah, exactly. So they can't really afford. So Willock. Had a shot and it goes way wide again. Trippier, I think you'll find. Yeah, trip so Elmoron passes it to Trippier. Trippier literally pulls it up and then Willock, all he had to do is he bring it down a little bit, I think. And that would have could have been a goal, but he takes it first time and it goes sky high. Besides, you could see he was sad. Didn't to leave. I feel bad for him. Um, tell you the truth, do you think that could have been just, uh, you know, just for the, just for the TV, just to see that he was sad that he had to leave? I'm pretty sure, yeah, why right, that he would have taken if he really wanted to stay. He could have, um, oh, you know, he could have. Taking a pay cut. So Mara gets past his man. Goalkeeper, um, not goalkeeper, um, the ref said corner. So Mara gets the ball, goes past. It flicks off of uh, Longstaff and it goes out for a corner. Longstaff was protesting, but. Yeah, but <laughs> the only thing is legacy, like, you know, you never know in football no more because of literally everyone wants to make a profit. So, like, you know, sent, like taking them, like, you know, selling up some of your assets to try and um, get the club back into, um, into, the, into, the, into the black. Into into our debt, you're never going to do that. Tell you the truth, to a degree, because of like you know that you still got to pay the players' wages. You still got, uh, you know, pay the staff and the and the 
and the uh, owners, the owners still got to take them uh, take their percentage. But at the end of the day, like you know that even if Lionel Messi just took a pay cut from his salary, I'm pretty sure they could have sold some other players to accommodate Messi rather than having Messi leave. I started the walk game again. I'm up to where we left off last night. Gonna play it again when you stream it. Well, I'm going to be on the um, second episode, oh. bro, when I uh, play it. So I did the first episode last night. I'm going to do the second episode tonight. And then I might do, I'm going to do an episode every night. So Legacy HD. I never knew. Never know. Look, Chelsea are spending lots of money. They are. They are spending lots of money. But if you have a look, the uh, the way that they uh, how they're doing it, they're giving longer term contracts. So then, I don't think they will get out of the. Uh, I don't think they will um, get into trouble with the uh, financial fair play rules. So if you can do that, then take the truth. Manchester United should easily be able to do that. Exactly, Cake. It's hard to feel sad for millionaire footballers unless there was a death or something really serious. Exactly. Exactly. So, in the Carabao Cup, the second, in the um, second semi final, Newcastle on the attack. Bruno Guerres, Joe Linton, he scores, but the referee has said. Right, so it's been chalked off. Salasu is saying that he, there's a foul, that there's a Southampton player down. So Callum Wilson and a defend, and the Southampton the fellow is is down. Joe Linton puts the ball into the box. VAR is getting involved, so Willock Willock cuts inside, takes out two, goalkeeper each puts a shot on, the goalkeeper saves it, Wilson and the defender come together and nothing there, Nothing there, and Joe Linton puts it in. I don't see any. Uh, that should be a goal to Newcastle. Exactly. They do, don't they, Jonathan? They do get away with it. Right, so... So Southampton get away with that. Salasu was the one that was down. And the ref says that it's a free kick to Southampton. So that's the reason why that. So Newcastle have the ball in the goal. It doesn't stand. So at the moment it's still goalless. We're five minutes away from half time. Plus whatever... Uh... That's whatever stoppage time as well we have. So it's now Newcastle throwing. Burn now with the throw to Joe Linton. Joe Linton to Trippier who tries and finds Wilson. Doesn't. Right. Trippier now brings it down, controls it, but South loses the ball. Southampton, they're on the attack now. 
Alcaraz. He shoots, he dips, and the goalkeeper Pope has to save it, and it goes out for a corner. Alcaraz from long distance as well. It dips. It skims off. Of the, it skims off just before the goalkeeper went to go and catch it. But Pope had to uh, had to make a decent. That was a decent save. So Ward Prowse with the corner can't get past his man and Southampton are trying to create something before the full time whistle. Now they find it. Diallo ah, miscontrols it and now it's Newcastle now on the attack by Bruno Guerreras. Oh Back to Cher. Cher finds Trippier. Trippier now brings it down to control it. Now, what's he going to do? Passes it to Bruno Guerreras. He finds Almond. Almond to Trippier. Trippier feeds in Longstaff. Longstaff finds Burn. Burn now puts it out wide to Willock, who can't control it and it goes out for a Southampton throw. Two minutes plus extra time, plus whatever added on time there is. Wilson, he brings it down. He actually um, passes it to, jo to Joe Linton. He tried to bring it to Joe Linton. He controls it. Wow. Is that a free kick or a throw? Pope came way out of his ball to tackle the uh, Southampton man. <laughs> wow, he comes flying in at him. Literally bulldozes him like a wow. Surely that's a uh, wow. Well, it's a free kick to Southampton. Carl Walker Peter's got a yellow card. What? So Carl Walker Peters got a yellow card. Southampton players literally flat out on the floor there. I think that's um Dejempo. Is that Dejempo who's on the floor? Right, there's four minutes of extra time here as well. Jumpo is getting um he's, he's getting looked at. He's sitting up now. The yellow's gone over and asked if he's all right. He goes, who the bloody hell are you? Don't know, my son. Pope is a bully. <laughs> well, to say the truth, it, that was a bit of a uh battered uh proper battered. Jimpo is nodding, saying that he's okay. He's looking left and right. He's...
So it looks like he's got a concussion. So now. It looks like that. He, to say the truth, if he, like, you know, he didn't know where he was. He was trying to play on, but. Wow, the referee did not give a free kick for that. Damn. Didn't look like that the referee gave him a free kick for that. Refs are useless, he will. Yeah, exactly, they are. So Jajumpo is getting um, subbed off because of the concussion. So now Adam Armstrong's coming on for Jajumpo. I haven't said it was half time, uh, Liam Gaming. I know it probably is half time, but no spoilers, bro. Come on. That's four to six. Well, at the moment on here, we're playing 48 minutes. I am a little bit behind, uh, Liam, so uh, sync up with me if you are. Uh... At the moment, they played nine minutes extra time. So Walker, Walker Peters. Alcaraz tries and goes past the Newcastle uh, play, doesn't know. Now Newcastle on the attack. Almoron. Almoron now. Salusu is right behind him. He goes past him. Almoron, but Salusu with the last minute tackle and gets the ball and clears it, but doesn't clear it too far away. Now Walker Peters. Adam Armstrong tries and gets into the game ASAP, but Bruno Guerrero holds him off. Yeah, there was a concussion. It definitely concussion to Jajempo. Hope oh, man, that was a that was a really bad um really bad uh, t challenge from him. So Burn now finds Wilson. Ward now passes it to Adam. Adam. Passes it through to Moreira. Moreira. Mara now. Mara goes past Botman, but doesn't go past. Doesn't go past Bruno Guerreras, who comes back and challenges it. Sean Long's staff now. Bringing it upfield to near the halfway line, but then passes it back. Now Botman. Botman to Willock. Willock now. Finds Joel Linton, Joel Linton to burn, burn back to Botman, Botman now. Diagonal cross to uh, Joe Linton. Joe Linton now tries and finds Elmore, but only finds a, a Southampton defender. Alcaraz, Alcaraz trying to get into the game, but can't. Back to the goalkeeper who clears it. Surely it's half time soon. Moara brings it down really nicely, goes past. Tries and goes past Cher, but only finds Trippier in the way. Bruno Guerreras to burn, burn. And the referee says half time. So we played 50. We played an extra. Played an extra um, five minutes on top of the 50.
supposed to have been 54, but in the end... No. It's supposed to have been on top of the 45, 49, but played an extra six, I think, and won it, something like that. But yeah, uh, like you know, as Jonathan Gallagher said, it was a, it was a head injury. Tell you the truth, not not too many clear cut chances in that game. I thought in the uh, first half, I thought um, Newcastle had the better half of that. Apart from the fouling from uh, from uh, Newcastle United, put on the uh, especially from Pope. Pope had to bulldozes to Jumpo, who had to go off through the concussion. So Pope. He will be fine. But apart from that, Newcastle did have the ball back in the net. And you could say, what well, should that have been ruled out? Should that goal have been ruled out? Maybe not. Um, to say the truth, Wilson brought it down and went for part past it to um, Joe Linton. And Joe Linton just smacked it into the top. So, G Wolf has the confidence versus Forest. I'm feeling pretty confident, to tell you the truth. I think you're going to see a lot of um, changes. I think you're going to see uh, mo some changes in the uh, in the game. I think you'll definitely see. Uh, you might see Polistri start. I think you will definitely see uh, Ganacho start against Boas. Um, you could see Weg Weggy still, or if uh, Martial's fit, then he can come in. Or you never know. He might bring on. He might bring in other youth players like um, McNeil and. And Savage. Now, you know, that is, it, like, they've got really tough games ahead now. And so you need all your first team players to uh, do well. So uh, basically, just got to see what happens. Um, I think with the back four, you probably might see uh, the likes of Maguire come in um, or uh, Lindelof. Uh, if Dallow's back, you could see him come play. Um, Sancho, he's had a couple of he's uh, he's come back into training, so he could get a run out in the set in the uh, on the subs bench. So see what happens with that. Um, but me personally, I'll ha uh, me personally, um, we could see uh, Butland make his debut as well for uh, against Forest. So let's see what happens. Like, you know, I think I'm um, having Butland or he and then go and then having Malachia, um, uh, Malachia probably, probably we will see, um, Slabby in in defence with either Ruan or Lindo. Is he not involved yet? Oh, okay. I, I know that he uh, he was train he's come back to training, hasn't he? But I don't know if he were if he was um coming in. But we just have to see what happens, won't we, um, Jonathan? Uh, you know, as I said, I think uh, you'll find that Slabby is going to be coming in with probably either Lindo or um, Martinez. And then having either Dallo and uh, or uh, Aaron Mambasaka. Or you never know, uh, Williams might make his uh, make his come, come back. G will turn down the United manager job because 
he won't have time to do his 100 Tommy tank a day. <laughs> oh, HB. Uh, well, at the moment, I'm getting 150 Tommy tanks in a day. You know, over the thought of you, my brother. <laughs> oh, dear me. Just ask the wife. <laughs> Very joking. Yeah, I, 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 like you know, they're just showing the replay of the um. So Willock, he comes in, he toe pokes it, goalkeeper saves it. Wilson, he back tills it, the ball hits Salisu. Right. And Bruno Garret and Joe Linton, it hits his sort of like thigh and rolls up to his chest. He brings it, he controls it quite well. I don't know if it does hit his hand because apparently that it was a handball is the reason. But that's not a handball. The way that his arm is, it's not in an unnatural position or anything like that. It just rolls up his, he rolls up on his, um, sort of like on his ribcage sort of thing and rolls up that way by the look of it. And then he just scores and then like, you know, he just boots it in. So for me, it, I think that goal should have stand. I don't think there will be lots of chances, but as far as Ten Hag doesn't like too much changes. Um, but I, I definitely think like there will be a few. I think there will be. I think there will definitely be changes in this team. I definitely think that he will change the goalkeeper. I don't see him being. I don't see. Um, I don't see, I definitely can't see um, David De Gea playing this game at the moment. Um, I can see either Heaton or um, Butler for the game. Because of literally, you got you got to um, make changes, especially in the semi-final. You know, and then, and then if we are behind after the, um, going into the second leg, then I would say, then that's when you play your first team. I wouldn't go play your first team straight away. I would utilize the squad, change, make some changes so people like, um, you know, Rashford can get a semi rest, have him on the bench. And then, like, you know, you can have some of your um, fringe players playing in this game. And then if we do get a result against them, brilliant. If we don't, then it doesn't really matter because of in the second leg, that's when we can play our first team. But like, you know, you got you got uh, you gotta be adaptable. Yeah, but I don't. I, yeah, but also you got you got to be a. This is the thing, Jonathan. Not really too bad results. Like you know, we only just lost against um against Crystal Palace. They only got a uh, literally. You can't take away um Crystal Palace's goal at the end. That was an absolute belter of a ball, belter of a shot. With the uh, with the Arsenal one with their last minute winner, um, to the truth, me personally, it did look offside. Like you know, I have seen some um, seen some areas where it doesn't look like that he's offside, but 
in my perspective, I think it was. I think the I think VAR had a bit of a mare there. But hey ho, what do I know? I'm like, you know, I'm just a fan just like anybody else. People have got their uh, people have got their personas on the game. Me personally, I thought uh, you know, overall, we should maybe we shouldn't have had Arsenal come on to us. Maybe we should have taken the ball, taken the ball by the scruff of the horns, and uh, actually took it to Arsenal. And that's what we didn't do. Exactly, OHB. This is the thing. This is what I'm saying. Two, la two last games have been bad results. They haven't really been bad results, but a draw away to against Crystal Palace. The Crystal Palace, they are they are a bogey team when we're playing at um, when we're playing at Selhurst Park. So take the truth. Getting a draw away from the, getting a draw away to, at Selhurst Park, I think that's a pretty good result. With the Arsenal game. Yeah, maybe we could have got the uh, maybe we could have got a result against them. We weren't one 0 up. We didn't we didn't um, penetrate enough in the uh, front. Didn't penetrate. There weren't really too much cut um really good uh, cut chances uh, for Manchester United. Weggy is still um, learning it, learning the Manchester United way. I think he's going to be needing a little bit of time. Yeah, but you've got to think about it. It wasn't two points dropped. It, it, this is Crystal Palace at, at home, who are really good at home as well. And also, they're our bogey team, Jonathan. So, in all fairness, I think um, I think the uh, one all, and especially the way that we conceded uh, against, um, against Crystal Palace, that goal, wow. Would you ever have thought that would have gone in? Me personally, no. I thought the way that we defended against um, Crystal Palace was pretty good. We was pretty solid against Crystal Palace. Every team is beatable, though, Jonathan. It's not just one. I think, uh, you know, I think uh, it could have been a lot. It, it could have been a lot better. The result could have been a little better. We could have gone for the second goal. We didn't. We um, got the one goal and we just didn't play well. But our defensive side of it was really, was really good, I thought. And we only just got, only just narrowly got a draw against um, Crystal Palace. If we won against, it, say that we won against them 1 0. I think everyone would say that was a hard fought victory that we that we um, did, and especially against New and especially against um, Arsenal as well. Like you know, we was odds on to gain the draw. It wasn't until um, like you know last minute uh, last minute antics that um, Arsenal managed to get the winner on a different day. Bar might have said that was offside and. Basically, they could have set, they could, have, they could have awarded it to us, and we would have got the draw. And exactly as OHB said, like you know, that we are playing above our expectations this season. Like you know, this season, it's supposed to be just a top four. Everyone was talking about a, cha a title challenge. No way was that a cha title challenge. It's not a title challenge season this season for Man United, and it should never should have been. But the way that we've been playing over the last um, since our last was like, since our last defeat against our since our last, like you know, we was in. Uh, people could have said that if we won. Like you know, if we even if we drew against Crystal Palace and won against Arsenal, or drew or won against Crystal Palace and drew against Arsenal, we would have been in a title challenge. But unfortunately, the way that we've been, we didn't. But hey, we move on, we carry on. We still got eighteen games to go. Arsenal could drop points. New Man City could drop points, and so can Newcastle. 
but we got to win our games as well. We can't just um, bolt on, oh, yeah, OK. We was in a title challenge, lost against Arsenal. We drew against South, we drew against uh, Crystal Palace. We can't let our heads dip. We've got to have that winning mentality. Right, next game, here we go. We've got to win. Everyone's fed up with Scott McTominay, Jonathan. At the uh, like, you know, but uh, at the end of the day, we need an, uh, another midfield. We need a, um, a another decent midfielder. Maybe uh, Ten Hag. Is he? Don't forget, Ten Hag is still learning on the job. It's not just about like you know, like Martinez doesn't know the pre like you know he's still learning the Premier League. So maybe having him in the defensive midfield area, maybe that might have been too much for uh, ten for uh, ten and a half to do. I just think, like you know, that the two results, the two results, uh, it, it didn't look it didn't look good. But at the end of the day, we are playing absolutely phenomenal this season and getting top four, where. People said that we wouldn't. People are saying that we wouldn't get to four, it would be six or seven. No, at the end of the day, we're, we're in a um, top four race. So Southampton comes through. Oh, we're in the second half now, by the way, guys. Shit. Um, Bear with me. Oh. So, both chances. Southampton had a chance. Last minute tackle. And then Newcastle come onto the, onto the attack with Alma 1. Alma 1. Alma 1. He finds... Longstaff who shoots but it goes what it goes high. So just give me a couple of minutes, guys, because I'm going to sync up with the uh, timer with my stopwatch. So burn now, burn. Tries and finds Willock. Southampton defends well. Water Peters tries and finds Ward. Ward now knocks it on, but only finds Share. Pope to Share now. Share tries and finds Longstaff. He loses the ball now. Alcaraz. Diallo. Diallo now. Ward Prowse to Salasu. Salasu to Diallo goes all the way back. Azulu now <laughs> playing with Wilson to Diallo to Salasu nearly loses out. So Southampton now, Ward Peters, who sets Mara on his way. Mara 
Now, Southampton winning back. Now, Walter Peters. Armstrong now goes into the Newcastle box. Moawa, he does a scissor kick, but doesn't come to anything. Goes wide. So in this heart, in, in, in the first half, Kieran had the most touches, most crosses, successful passes in the third. Cher loses, loses the ball because he was under pressure by Olsic and it's a Southampton throw in a dangerous position. Uh. Uh, there we go. So we're all linked up, synced up now. Yeah, but Casemiro is, what, 30 years old? Casemiro is 30 years old, and Scott McTominay is, what, 29 years old? So, like, you know, Casemiro can't play every single game. He is, a, he, he is better, than, um, better than Scott McTominay, but at the end of the day, you can't keep on playing him. So you've got to alternate between the two. Unfortunately, it's Scott McTominay. Yeah, he could have brought Fred in there and brought on um, and, put, and could have put uh, Martinez in the CDM position and tried that because he's played there before. But you never know. It's all fine. OHB are part of the decade of failure. So have I, dude. You're not the only one. Like, you know, seeing my team, seeing our team literally fail we, every season, like, but with, um, with defensive managers. Anyway, Albon, uh, Newcastle had a proper chance there. Trippier. Pass it to Almond. Almond crosses it. it Goes across. Southampton couldn't get away. So Trippier passes it to Almoron. Almoron puts it into Longstaff. There's a one-two with Longstaff, and the ball comes all the way across to Joe Linton. Joe Linton. All he had, all he had to do was just literally tap it in. He doesn't. He scoops it up, and it goes high. It, it, he fluffs it. Absolutely fluffs it. So brilliant chance there for a new puzzle, but just Korea has Henri said it perfectly. United went head to head with a team who's had three years development over a team with three months. Exactly, OHB, exactly. We're fourth in the league and in all four months. Still Ten Hag might get full and silver in his first season. Exactly. OHB, Bruno Fernandes is in the right winger in a lot of games after subs. So Newcastle now are creating a lot more. Botman just had a chance and it goes wide, just wide. So Trippier, he took a free kick quickly. Almon goes past Moreira, who crosses it all the way past. Goalkeeper tries to get a touch on it, doesn't. It goes all the way through to Botman. Botman now shoots, but just wide of the post.
Then I was thinking of bringing Ganacho with two minutes. OHB, don't miss me. <laughs> oh dear me, <laughs> both of you stop it, <laughs> not crying on YouTube all night, oh dear, are you my boss? No, now stop fucking acting like smug boss. Exactly, OHB. Same here, dude. I think Ten Hag has my full. Ten Hag has definitely got my full backing. The way that he's, uh, the way that he has been uh, this season has been absolutely phenomenal in his first season as well under Manchester United. And if this is what he can do in his first season, I can't wait until we're about two or three seasons in and see what we can do. So. He almost found his way through. Right, Southampton now. They're on the attack. Right, Adam Armstrong has got the ball. Gone past his man. He's gone past a few men. He's on the shot and it goes over. Wow. So Adam Armstrong goes past Burn. Goes past Cher. He goes past Trippier. Takes a shot. So Burn tries to hold him back. Almond and Cher wiggles his way into the box. Now Southampton are making two more changes. All shit, Chamara coming off. So Samuel Adozi is coming on. So Adams is on. So Edozi and Adams are on. But oh shit, Tamara. Come on. Adams is coming straight in. Armstrong. Oh, Southampton tries and finds Armstrong, but. So Bruno Guerreras, who brings it forwards to the halfway line, past him right now, Willock. Willock now brings it across, tries and cuts inside, passes it. Bruno Guerreras has got it, who finds Cher, Cher now to Bruno Guerreras, to Joe Linton. Joe Linton loses out. Now Southampton have got the ball right. Ward Prowse to Walker Peters. Walker Peters tries and goes past Burn, but Burn puts it out for throw. When you look at the positive side, what our fans forget to do now, Ten Hag has brought discipline to the club. We no longer have a hole on midfield at the fence is solid and we drop slabby. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Definitely. <clears throat> so, Adams now. Walker Peters, Walker Peters, who finds Ward. Now Southampton are looking for a penalty. Stuart Atwell says no. Back to square one if Casemiro gets injured. I don't think so. I think um, you, you would see that he won't play. Uh, he won't play uh, um, McTominay there again. I think you'll find different. Oh, Botman, he slips. Adam, Adam, uh, Armstrong now has got it. Will Prowse, Will Prowse, the Diallo, Diallo now goes across to the other side, to the left hand side. Alcaraz, who finds Adams, Adams to Alcaraz, Alcaraz to Lienko. 
Yanko now finds um what 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 appears. What appears? Oh, goes out for another throw to Southampton. Game's getting stretched. It is at the moment, isn't it, dude? So uh, Armstrong now to Diallo. Diallo now tries and finds Alcaraz, but out but misses out. Wilson tries and pounces onto the loose pass, but doesn't go anywhere. Stretch like Mr. Armstrong. <laughs> Possibly, because they'll have the um, home advantage. But anyway, Southampton. Oh, Southampton. They they could have uh, they could have counted there. But Newcastle defended well. Right now, Joe Linton's got it. Joe Linton to Willock. Willock to Bruno Guerreras. Bruno Guerreras sprays it out. Tries and finds. Armour on who bit of a poor defence there. Armour on now. Armour on to Trippier. Trippier to Bruno Guerreras. To Armour on, but Southampton clears it only to share. Share now heads it across, but Alcarez picks it up. Hardly any control here. Dallo puts in a last minute challenge. Right now, Southampton, they're on the break. Break really fast as well. Walter Peters. Walker Peters. Oh. Walt Prowse. There's a turning shot, but it goes high. It does go high, it goes behind as well. Hide and behind. So it just puts out a, a white boot. Um, I don't think that's today, is it? You, you'll find out. <laughs> there is no draw. You'll find out in the second half of what happens. Don't not. <laughs> Don't forget, this is semi-final. <laughs> you donut! <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> I nearly had you there, Jewel. Oh hell no! You gotta get um, you gotta get me up early um for that, bro. Never gonna get me with that. Oh, right, HB, do you want a gold medal? Uh yeah, I'd have a gold medal, please. Thank you very much, Jonathan Gallagher. If you can put it in the post to. Jonathan, do you want a blue pea badge? <laughs> so, Southampton, a throw on goal. Oh, Pope again with the last minute save. Southampton were through on goal there. So Walter Peters now. Walter Peters goes past. Strong. Oh, cross comes in, but Pope manages to catch it. They make gold medals with potatoes in Ireland, G. Wolf. Do they? Are they called waffles? Because you're waffling on. 
Are you a big waffle there, Cake Cadet? You want me to shine it up real nice? Turn that son of a bitch sideways and stick it straight up your candy ass. So, Armstrong now brings it down to the right hand side. Ball crosses in for Bruno Guerrero's. Oh, it's Joe Lynn and not Guerrero's right now. Remember our attack, do you? Is this an art attack? This is an art attack. <laughs> exactly, McCarthy. Oh, he says, don't forget to tune in tonight, everyone, as G Wolf continues the war among us. Oh, hell yeah. I'm part Irish, so yes. I can get an Irish passport if I wanted to. Are you Pat Irish child? My, my child. Or are you from the valleys? John and Jonathan Gallagher's from the valleys. Are you Scottish, you dirty YouTube? Oh! Southampton, Pope again, keeping Southampton. Oh. And Yanko, he, uh, shoots. Good free kick there. Shay Adams with the spin. Pope with the last minute. Save. Brilliant save. So appearances nine, clean sheets nine, shots on target, base nineteen, saves nineteen. Damn, legacy gonna be protesting for more immortality. So I suck is on for Newcastle for on for Willock. And also, St. Maximum is on as well. So, I Suck is on for Wilson and Willock. It, uh, Maximum comes on for uh, Willock. So, Wood, Wood thinks that he's got a knock. So now Trippier for Newcastle to Shear. Shear tries and finds Joe Linton. He doesn't. Only uh, Armstrong, who finds out what a Pete is, who bombs down that right-hand side, cuts in to Ward. Ward now to War Peters. War Peters puts in that cross and Pope gathers it. Uh, hell no, we do not want a tree trunk. We do not want a bushy tree trunk. So, Ward on the halfway line, going backwards to Salisu, Salisu to Diallo, Diallo now. Who finds Ward again? Diallo to Salisu. Salisu. Diallo. Diallo is going to Salisu. Oh, oh, Hazard. Harry Kane is joining Man United. That would be nice if he does, I think, um, in the summer. That would be great. Yeah, how are you, Hazar? I hope you're I hope you're well. G Wolf, score a goal. 
I would love to, dude. I would love to get the goal, but it's not going to happen. Wow. Edozi gets taken out by Trippier, and Trippier receives a yellow card. Yeah, I'm not bad. Agreed here to say Kane hasn't spoke about an exit. Um, I think he does. Well, I, I think he's open minded about an exit, surely. Surely he would have to because he ain't going to win anything with Tottenham. What I like with Ireland is they use sheets of potato crisps for the kids in school to write on about saves trees. But it also helps give kids something to snack on throughout the day. Oh, damn. So, Southampton have got a free kick in a pretty dangerous area. Well, Prowse is over it. See what happens. Well, Prowse with the cross in. Header from Diallo and it goes out for a corner kick. So delivery for more press is pretty good. Dallo with the with the header on, it hits. I think burn. Yeah, but Weghurst is only a loan deal. He'll go back to Burnley. Um, so now Will Prowse with the corner kick. Cross comes in. It's quite a deep one, but Pope comes up and gathers, gathers it. Pope wanted to release it quickly, but the defend the Southampton defender didn't. So now I suck passes it on to Saint Maximum. Saint Maximum passes it. Trippier now cross comes in, but Saint Maximum. Saint Maximum. Oh, burn. Puts it in and nearly it could have been a goal there. So now it goes all the way back to Pope through Botman. Botman now to share, share to Bruno Guerreras. Is that Bruno Guerreras or is that Joe Linton? Yeah, Bruno Guerreras. Burn now. I love Kane at United. Perfect hold up play. Beast in this box and around it. He's on 16 goals in the Prem this season, but all I've seen all week is talks of him signing a new deal with Spurs. He might not. Hey, come on, bro. So the Magpies have got it. Joe Linton with the goal. So one nil. So it's a goal for Newcastle with Joe Linton. So I suck is on that left hand side. It goes past, and then all he has to do is just guides it through and. On comes is Joe Linton. I suck. He sees the man, just crawls it in, and Joe Linton with that goal. So it's 1 0. Yo, come on, bro. Liam, no, uh, no spoilers, bro. Please. So, Armstrong, he finds Ward. Ward now. 
in Dozy. Armstrong. It goes in. It's one all. So. It is one all. Armstrong. So it's one all. No look of that handball either. So literally, Ward Prowse, he crosses it in. Pass it. To Che Adams. Che Adams. And Doozy brings it in. And then Armstrong just bundles it across the line. I don't think they would say that that's a handball, surely. That, that, that literally, you see, he's falling. It, it's not. It, it, it's not. I don't think that's a handball. Literally, you see it. It's definitely not a handball. Yeah, but I'm a little bit further away from you, though, bro. But I don't think it should have been a handball. Ah, uh, so it didn't count then. Still one nil. It shouldn't have been a handball because that was no way was that a handball. Yeah, but I has ruined football again. Me personally, I don't see that as a handball. I don't even see that as an accident, accidental handball. It's just if you see it, like you know, um, it comes off a of Dan Burns um dive, then it goes on to goes sort of onto the hand, but doesn't I literally he doesn't know anything about it. So how can you say that that was a handball? He doesn't know anything about it. And then he goes back onto um, onto his knee and Dunburn puts it in. It should have been an own goal. But hey. Well, this is exciting still. Newcastle is 1-0 up. Southampton have had a goal disallowed. So is Newcastle in the first half, by the way. And um, even, even that shouldn't have been a foul. Exactly, Cake. He, there was nothing that he could have done about it. So, me personally, it shouldn't have been a handball. The yellow does a miss pass and gives Newcastle a chance. Almoron is off, by the way. He came on for just a couple of minutes ago. It's all the way back to Pope now. Pope to Botman. Botman finds maximum. Maximum passes it to Bruno. Bruno back to Botman. He passes it back to Pope who finds Trippier. Trippier now clears it up. 
it's more high than than up. But Dallo tries and passes it to Indozi. Indozi just sees it high and goes out by throwing to Newcastle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Says Liam Gay. Yeah, please don't put any spoilers in, guys. Um, I know I'm behind. I know I'm behind. If you want to link up with me, uh, we're on 80 minutes and 12 seconds so far. So Newcastle have only got three defeats so far in all competitions by the look of it. So Bruno Guerrero's to Sean Longstaff. Bruno Guerrero's who finds Isaac. Joe Linton now to to Maximum. Maximum finds Isaac. Isaac. I suck. He's in the penalty box and it goes out for a goal kick to Southampton. So Southampton is bringing on a player now. Diallo is the man who's going off. He's had a pretty good game so far, I thought Diallo did. And he's coming on for Lavia. Lavia is on now. Armstrong is still asking about why is that why was that um why was that goal not given? So goal kick taken short. Literally charged down now. Hey Charlie Adams, how you doing? Lee gaming. What's your bedtime, you cranky? Yo, Chee. Charlie Anthony says, Yo, G Wolf, there's no reason why Newcastle shouldn't smack Southampton up. If they don't, then it's not complete failure, but there would be question marks if they don't win. True. Yo, KKK, how you doing, bro? KK47. He says, Hi, I am back. Nice. Good to see you, bro. Come on, Southampton, says Box. Mm, I can't see it happening. I can see a Newcastle win here. So I suck to Bruno Guerrero's. Bruno Guerrero's. Uh, oh, Lelenko. Oh, now there's a bit of handbags and glad rags. Now there's. Semi, uh, I suck, and uh, Lelenko is uh, having a bit of a, is having a bit of a, uh, you know, so it looks like Lienko is going to get yellow carded here. Lelenko is trying to walk away, but the referee is, um, Wants to have a word with him. Walker Peters is there with him as well. Nalenko, he gets a yellow card for that challenge, for that late challenge. Oh, and St. Maximum, he gets a yellow card as well. So, Nalenko. He gets a ball, but he try but Lenenko tries and picks up <laughs> tries and picks up Bruno Guerreras. Bruno <laughs> Guerreras has gone like, why, why, why are you doing that for? And then um, Maximum comes in on Lenenko and shoves him away, and tries and gets involved, but it's a free kick to Newcastle. Trippier is over it. I know his name is called Isaac, but I'll call him Isaac. So 
So Trippier now floats it in. Goalkeeper collects it easily by Water Peters. Water Peters to Lavia. Lavia to South Saliba. Saliba tries and goes a through ball into uh, Indozi, but it just rolls into the goalkeeper Pope. Now uh, Trippier. Trippier. Murphy, but it doesn't go anywhere. Lavia picks it up. Right. Same maximum goes past I suck. Maximum he gets Oh no, he's already been booked. Salakar has already been booked and he's got a red card. Bruno Guerrero he tries and has a go. Ah select car has gone off. Southampton, it's down to 10 men. Wow. Bruno Guerrero is happy about that. They managed to get him a red card. The letter car. Murphy is saying bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow. The same maximum. Bruno Guimaraes has been uh, yellow carded as well for his involvement in that uh, second yellow. Possibly box. Possibly about 15, 20 goals down from my rivals, yeah. So Bednowick is coming on for Walter Peters. So now Southampton is going to go ultra defensive now. Yeah, but also I think it's um, Southampton's downfall as well, though, Cake. I don't think it's just um, uh, Bar. I think you'll find, um, like, you know, that challenge, that shouldn't have happened. Southampton should have defended it a little bit better. Um, Box, yeah, I do. I do see changes. I just do. I just uh, like you know. I, I just think it's funny. Like you know, it just sounds the same. I suck. I suck. So Trippier with the free kick, it goes just over the bar. They sound similar, don't it? I suck. I suck. I suck. I suck. Just sounds similar. So to say the truth, well, I might as well just uh, go with it and just go. I suck. The goal should have completely would have changed the game with that. Yeah, it would have, but unfortunately, like you know, we got they got we got the second leg at Newcastle. They've got the uh, Southampton have got the second leg at Newcastle. Yeah, Newcastle one and one. So same maximum, and it goes out. You support G Wall. You what? One thing, I'm in the UK, Jonathan. Suck it. Liam, what do you want people to suck? Can you dig it, sucker? Sure, damn. That's an old one. Booker T. I'm sick of why uh, needs scrapping. Um, to the truth, I, I sometimes quite like uh, VAR. 
Barsocks. Liam, I think you've had too many Smarties tonight. <laughs> So we're in the 90th minute now. 90 is just gone. I suck. Tries and uh, goes past Lamayanko. If he makes another foul, that's it. it. Could be two defenders yet red carded. This WWE DX bro. See, I've only got two words for you. Suck it! <laughs> yeah! Oh, dear me. So, five minutes of extra time. Just WX. Are you? Are you ready? Are you ready? The Bruno Goddard Oh, Murphy. Him gaming, we are all so scared. Not. You want to play the game? <sighs> it's all about the game, not your plan, not about the words and the way you've been saying. The way you think you're playing, all about the game, you're gonna play it. Are you ready to suck? Are you ready to rumble? Are you ready to not like a smoking gun? I do not know the words of the fucking song, so why don't you help me and get me along? So Bruno Guedes tries and feeds it in to um, So Bruno Guedes is the player of the match he's the man of the match tonight Two minutes of the extra time. Three minutes of the extra time is coming up, guys. So another two minutes to go. Still one nil to Newcastle. Gotta go. Yo, real gaming. Fair enough, dude. Hope you come back a little bit later on, as I will be doing. The G Wolf is among us. So Pope picks it up. Oh, Ice Maximum loses out, goes past Ward. Maximum now tries and does an audacious shot, but shit it doesn't do anything. It just literally it, it just rolls through to the goalkeeper. So Murphy now to Armstrong, Armstrong to Joe Linton, Joe Linton to get Bruno Gamarez who passes it in through to Murphy. Murphy, he goes past, he shoots, but it hits the side netting. Score prediction versus Forrest. I'm going with a 3 0 victory, I think. Um, I think there's going to be look. I, I I'll tell you my lineup for that um game to in in a minute after this game.
to long staff Salabar Sal Sal Sam pulls back I suck and now Salusu, oh, Salusu, not Salabar, Salusu gets a yellow card for pulling back I suck. He says, oh, I want to suck, I want to suck. Suck goes over. Who's your man in the match tonight, do you Um, oh. Longstaff is, um, is more handbags, more handbags tonight. Murphy and Bagnowick is getting involved. Longstaff was getting involved. Salasu was getting involved. So there is a yellow card, but who was that to? So there's a couple of yellow cards tonight in this um, in this game. I'm thinking if they get another yellow card in the second leg, then wouldn't they be out of the final? So there you have it, Newcastle with So Newcastle have won it of this first leg game. But yeah, my man of the match, um tell you the truth. Um yeah, Bruno got Bruno or um or Dallo I thought. thought. Either Bruno Gallet, Gomez, or um, Dallo. Joe Linton played pretty well. So did Joe. Um, so did uh, Almon. But yeah, Dallo. Um, for for um, Southampton, I thought. Uh, you know, uh, I thought Dallo played well. Also, I thought um, more Prowse, and also um, when he came on, uh, Armstrong, he played absolutely phenomenal when he came on. He started making things happen a bit more for um, Southampton. So, yeah, uh, it, it was a good game. Like, you know, it was a hard fought victory for Newcastle. Would you take Bruno from Newcastle? Yeah, definitely. I would. I would definitely take Bruno from Newcastle. I'll have the two Brunos in the centre of midfield as well. But yeah, for my um, uh, not for large parts. I thought it was pretty much an even Stephen game. I thought uh, Newcastle had the better of the chances, but um, it didn't really do anything with it. Um, but with Southampton, they defended well. Southampton defended well, but also um, the chances that they did have, they were good opportunities. Yeah, box. Same here, dude. I would start Ganacho tomorrow as well. Um, me personally, I would uh, I would have either Heaton or uh, Butland in goal. I would have Malashia. With I bet you would probably have um, Maguire or Lindo with um, Boran or or Martinez. And then if he's fit, then I have um, Dallo. Well, you never know, you might have a, um, you might have, um, uh, Williams who will come in. And then in the, uh, second, In the uh, in the centre of midfield, I would have uh, Casemiro, and I'll put a young one in there. I'll definitely put a young one in there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You got to, he's got to rotate quite a lot. I would have um, could have a. Uh, And then on the uh, left-hand side, I would have um, 
yeah, police tree and Ganacho on either side of the wings, and then Rashford. Yeah, 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 exactly. I have Rashford up top. So you have, so you have like you know a young a young team, but also a brilliant team as well. And then like you know, it, say that if we do lose that game, then in the second half, and then in the second leg, then that's when I'll have my strong squad out. So I'll have people like Bruno Fernandez. Um, Casemiro, I'll have the big hitters there as well with um, Boran and Martinez with uh, Luke Shaw. You never know, Luke Shaw might go in defence, so you might have Luke Shaw in defence with um, Malachio on the on that left on that left hand side. So you could do that with uh, Casemiro. What did I think of the Southampton sending off? Um, I thought it was a bit like you know, it was, it was mainly a second yellow. Yeah, it was a yellow card. He got the second yellow, so yeah, it was a sending it. Like you know, when you do a clumsy challenge like that, you're gonna get yellow carded. So at the end of the day, it's box standard in it, two yellows and you're off. <laughs> and then so and then Southampton. Didn't really have any attacking threat and just had to defend for the last for the last um for the last uh, you know like however many it was what ten minutes. Um, I don't think he was stupid. I think he went in for the tackle, but just mistimed it. Just a mistimed challenge. So I don't think he was stupid. At the end of the day, like you know, the way that Max, um, the way that it, the way that it was, like, like you know, he, like Maximum was just gunning down that area. So he had, he had a couple of choices. He could have said, right, no, just let him go past, and then. Maximum had a proper, a proper, uh, a proper clear through on goal. Or what do you do? Do you try and tackle him and hopefully you will get the ball? Or do you try and take out the player and then like, yeah, okay, you're doing it for your team, which is what they did. And like you know, it was one nil. Fine, it's one nil. What? 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 Can Southampton do? Damned if you do, damned if you don't. But I think it was a calculated foul. And then it got him a yellow card, second yellow card, and he's off. But he's out of the second leg. So obviously, Southampton have now got to basically, they got to come out now and hopefully get. Hopefully, get the uh, the goal that they need to tie up this uh, to tie up this game. If not, Newcastle are going to the final. Now, do we see a Manchester United final or do we see a Nottingham Forest final? I'm hoping that it's going to be a Manchester United final. I want Man United to be in the uh, in all the cups if possible. But if it don't happen, it don't happen. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, might the the season for me is definitely just top four. Whether we win a game, when we win a trophy or not, G Wolf United, what stage are you with? Uh, um, well, with me, it's they need to change it. They need to look at it a little bit more. I think. I think. Um, some decisions that VAR give is not is not right. I think they should have. Uh, I think they should have an ex footballer looking at it as well. Um, I don't think it should be just the referee's decision. I think ex footballers should have a look as well, and then give their view because of obviously they know the play, they know the game. The referees. Oh, uh, you know, they're only going by stats and and by the rules, whereas, you know, whereas ex-players, they know the game inside out. They play it. They played it as well. So 
Me personally, I would have ex players looking at it at bar as well, and then see what happens from there. Hopefully, we can win, be in the draw for the final. I think, uh, you know, uh, uh, the way that uh, the way that we're shaped up to be at this moment in time, it does look like that we can go out and win a trophy. But you know, we there's loads of um, the way that I'm seeing it is yeah, why that we're still developing, we're still, uh, you know trying to get through every single game and win every single game but at the moment as you can see we can see our players are a bit leggy especially with the games that we've had as well we've got like i think it's like 10 games in god knows how many days so now this is the time when ten hag needs to rotate their squad and in, especially against in the cup in the Carabao Cup as well, especially against um, not in the forest, you can um, rotate the squad a bit more. You can like you know not don't have to play the goalkeeper, don't have to. G Wolf never laughs at my stupid comments. I always laugh at your stupid comments, you donut. <laughs> when don't I ever laugh at your stupid comments? <laughs> be in the draw you know that we don't have to be in the draw this is the draw right simple <laughs> dear me Kate what are you like so the truth, the last one, G Wolf never laughs at my stupid comments. That's a stupid comment. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, guys, please come back. At eleven o'clock. At eleven thirty, sorry. Well, you will see. Oh, no, 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 no. What's going on? No, 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 no. Oh, my day. What's going on? What? Uh, what's going on? What? Oh my days! Uh, what is going on? Hey, we got over the eight hundred. We have now got eight hundred and fifty-two. What are you doing, Jewel? I'm showing you what I'm doing. Please come over to Jewel Among Us. What do you what do you own? Jewel, what do you own? What other people use more than you? Lube. Well, I don't know if you've seen on the back of his head, he's got a birthmark, hasn't he? It looks like a head, really strong head injury. He's having a Welsh cup of tea. <laughs> Phenomenal. 
Have you seen how much more can players are going for um, for FIFA? Bloody hell! Yeah, I know, Cake. It is. Um, lucky enough, yeah, right. Uh, I got Zich for for five thousand, and then I basically scrimped the rest. Uh, for two K, so I I paid two K each for for each of them. I had a Welsh hot chocolate. But yeah, I, um, but I've done that. I've done that one, and uh, they went into an SBC, which I already got, and put my trouble because I did a eighty-eight. I did the eighty-eight SBC as well, icon, and basically, you made about sixty k of Moroccan players. See, I don't know if I've got any uh, more can players left. I think I did sell them in the end. I think I quick sold them only because I uh, needed. I think that was my bit of a, my downfall there. I think. But yeah, that was a good goal by um I suck with a great big with a good turn. He crosses it in. Joe Linton was there. Goalkeeper had no chance because he was too close to him and maybe Linko could have done done a little bit better. Um, let me see. I'll, I'll see if I've um got any uh. If I've got, if I still got any play, any of them. If I've got, still got any of them. There, I'll uh, definitely um definitely sell them. I'm hoping I still got Zich because of, I believe if um Zich. So there we go, right, okay, I'm not muted now. <laughs> so 
So, right. So, basically, I'll just have a look. I'll see if I have got ZH. If I have, I'm going to put him in for crazy money. See what I get. I hope I still got Zich, the um, tradable one, especially the tradable one as well. <laughs> oh, HB, that would be just my luck, wouldn't it? Turns out to be untradable. No, I haven't even got him. Yeah, look, 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 look how many players I've got untradeable. All of these, but untradeable. Crazy. Got one for Saka. Oh dear me, I've got all of these. Oh, I've got Booth out. But he's untradeable. <laughs> is that Team of the Week untradeable? I believe so, dude. I believe that Team of the Week is actually untradeable as well. Yeah. That team of the week is untradeable. Literally, I've got loads of players that are untradeable. I'm only getting untradeable players. It is unbelievable. Yeah, literally, look. I've only got these. Right, so how much does these normally go for? What, what, like, you know, what's the price tag? Look. Yeah, and then I got him again. Yo, Charlie Anthony says, Wakey baby time, wakey wakey baby time, wakey baby baby time, it's wakey baby time. Hey, nice. I got Hammer back. So I got Amabat, so I sold him. Bufal, he's... Shame that he's, uh... I can't wait to use these players Try and get these in. Even Bunu as well. Probably did, dude. Probably did. But oh well. And did I get that um Kevin De Bruyne on? Um what was it? What did I do? I've forgotten. I did I get him uh OHB. Um didn't really do anything, did I? Did 
theory I can sell Lacazette. From the store pack. Ah, oh, yeah, that was right. You can get messy loan on moments, Benzema in objectives, and the rest from store pack. I think I've already had the messy card, haven't I? E. Oh, I already had that messy card. Um. Let me see, I'm pretty sure I had that messy card, didn't I? Yeah, I already had that messy card. Oh, let's see what I'll get from that. Oh, I don't get much. No, I didn't. Uh, I'm not sure, dude. I uh, can have a look. Maybe there was. Oh, yeah, there was. Nicely done. All toys. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I've got a messy white ring on for three games. <laughs> there we go. I've got Messi again. <laughs> you had Messi? I got him again. You got Casemiro from yours, did you? Nice. See, that 500 one is there as well for the provision packs. That's strange timing. <laughs> sure, it's time. Messi wants to join the wolf pack. It does, it does. End of an era, bail. I don't want him though. Don't want to even want that flash pack. Really wish I could do this. Um, I can do this one. Only Bale is in the, is insane. Well, to tell you the truth, Bale can still be insane. Um, a car. Hmm. Ninety. Nice, got a couple of, done it with all 91s with only 
194 and 95, so cool. I've done that one. Oh, I've got our bronze. <laughs> Damn it. Is this a bronze pack? So that's, a de that's the best that they can come up with. The bronze, really. And check the prices on League One players. Have a look then. Ooh, hey. Nice.
Well, hopefully, a little bit better. But anyway, guys, I'm going to call it there. I'm going to have an hour's break and then I'll be back with the game Wolf Among Us. Yeah, please check. Please come back. As I said, I won't be long. This is the G Wolf United signing off for now. And I will see you again real soon. This is the G Wolf signing off, and I'll see you. It is.